Gel in Agriculture, brought to you with the compliments of the Ministry of Agriculture, Food, Fisheries, and Water Resource Management. Well, today is going to be a fun day. We're actually doing a tour of the schools who came out on top of the Ministry of Agriculture's Grow Well, Eat Well, and Live Well Schools Garden Competition. Welcome to another episode of Gel in Agriculture. Of course, we're here at All Saints Primary in St. Peter. And the first person I've grabbed is Mr. Gregson Vaughn. He's a teacher responsible for the agricultural program here at the school. Congratulations for your win, Mr. Vaughn. Thank you very much and welcome to All Saints Primary. Thank you and congratulations, students. Thank you. Okay, so Mr. Vaughn, I understand that All Saints Primary came first mm -hmm. in the category of container gardening. What exactly is container gardening? Oh, the concept of container gardening is where we find different materials and different things that we normally throw away and plant food in. Anything that holds dirt, containers, it could be tires, it could be bottles, it could be almost anything to, for us to grow our own things that we eat. Okay, so I do see the tires, which would be the recyclable materials. Yes. I see some toy trucks, I see bricks. What exactly did you use in the garden? Oh, we have a wide variety of things in here. Um, things you would normally throw away at home, for example, like the swab of towel bottles, um, the plastic bags. The bags that you're seeing are actually made from recycled plastic bottles. Those were given to us by a friend of the school. And the other things that we have are like pieces of pipe, rims, there's bamboo. There's um, also some things behind us like old um, cooking oil bottles and such like. So there's a wide variety of things that we use to inculcate our practices here at school. Now, Mr. Vaughan is being modest. What he didn't say is that this is the second time in a row that the school has won in the same category of container gardening, right? Yes, yes, yes. What is it that makes the school so special, so unique when it comes to this category? Oh, we work as a unit. Our teamwork is exceptional. Parents, our teachers and students, we work as one team. We coordinate our work, we plan, we work together. You know, the garden allows us to spend time with each other. We increase our productivity, we work beyond the call of duty. And I find that the children on a whole are more interested as time goes on, as they see the products of their hard work. And we sometimes don't understand how exciting it is for children to be outside and in the garden. Um, how involved and how excited were your students during the competition or preparing for the competition because it actually started in October? Oh, these children are very much involved. They're, they're very much excited because they keep me on my toes. Um, to be quite honest, um, we check everything daily. A lot of activities we do in the garden are also brought back into the classroom. They're integrated as well. So this is something that will stay. Is this a permanent fixture at the school? Oh yes, my my principal has assured me of that. So it's definitely going to be here to stay, and it's going to get bigger and better. We expand and we modify and we upgrade. And coming back even stronger next year to win the third title. Oh yes, please. Well, we have our plans in place already. <laughs> okay, well, congratulations, and I'm off to speak to some of your students who would have participated throughout the process. Okay, thank you. Okay. What were some of your responsibilities in the garden? Some of the responsibilities in the garden is making sure you put out the hands tools when you are finished with them. Okay, what else? To make sure the plants get enough water. Mm -hmm. yeah. Make sure when you are watering the plants, you do not drown them, especially ceilings. A lot of tips. Give me some more. One of the responsibilities in the garden is weeding because if you don't weed the garden the, the weeds will choke the plants and kill them all right what else make sure you do not stand up or damage the ceilings or plants okay perfect one of the responsibilities is to wrap up the hole so people won't trip on it all right i like to water the garden daily on the morning okay and i understand that some of you have gardens at home as well so tell me how how working in this in this competition has helped you with your garden at home. Well, I learned that I learned that I should check daily for weeds, and also I learned that not everything I have to throw away, I can use some of them in my garden. I have learned that when I am transplanting plants, to hold them, seedlings to hold them very gently. Okay, perfect. And what did you like most about working in the garden? I like the garden to fork up beds and help at home in my farming. Okay, good. And what about you? I like to get my fingers dirty and have fun. Perfect. All right, so out of 10, what would you give your participation in this competition? What would you rate the competition out of 10? 10. 10 out of 10. 
Okay, how would you rate the competition? 100% or no? 100. A thousand. Okay, we have a thousand. We're on to the next school, Roland Edwards Primary. Let's see how they did in the competition. Here at Roland Edwards Primary, it was also all hands on deck. They had the support of the staff, the teachers, the parents, they told me, and of course, the children. Now, this bunch actually won the category for the best protective structure with their shade garden. And tell me exactly what structure is it that you made? We made a greenhouse. And what is a greenhouse exactly? A greenhouse is protection from the sun, rain, insects. Mm -hmm. And they fill their greenhouse with many things. Tell me some of the things that you planted here in this beautiful greenhouse. We planted spinach, lettuce, cauliflower, eggplant, tomatoes and sweet pepper. And I see also you have many other things. I'm seeing carrots, I'm seeing celery, I'm seeing many other things here. And the concept that they have is a very unique one, one that was very popular by the time that the competition started in October last year. What is the concept of y'all's greenhouse? The concept of our greenhouse is 50 years of independence. Mm -hmm. So what did you do to, to commemorate that with this garden? Since we were celebrating 50 years of independence in Barbados, we decided to make a bed out of it. Mm -hmm. We put on the rocks and you see them painted in patriotic colors of blue and yellow. Terrell, how do you prepare a garden? You prepare a garden by shape out the square where you will put down the soil. You will dig the hole and plant the, seed, plant the seeds and water them. So here we are with the woman in charge of the operation. This is Ms. Dominique Jordan, who's a teacher at the school, as well as the one who would have spurred all of this. Ms. Jordan, I understand that you're behind the construction of the structure. What happened? How did you get to this point? When I came to the school, the structure, it was just the metal. It was on the playing field, which is behind us. In week two of term one, myself, the game's teacher, another parent and a janitor, we came out and we actually covered the structure on our own. From there, it was burning the rocks to form the 50 and we filled it with the mud. We planted the seedlings. The last thing we did was to paint the rocks. That you had some assistance by Mr. Holder here. Tell me what exactly you did. I bring what I had them for the 50 in the morning, the evening time, and then I ran the mud and slap the flats on the ceilings. All right, so remember that this is a group effort. It's not just the students, but like I said, the entire school is involved. It's a school's garden competition. Tell us how you were able, Ms. Jordan, to move the concept of the garden from outside of the classroom and even outside of the school for the children to actually implement it into their homes. It was very easy. I find that these students were keen. Getting out of the classroom to come in the garden was a getaway for them. And when they realized that we were raising the lettuce, that we were growing the lettuce and we were selling them to the staff, the first set of money I made, I bought stuff for the children. So they were excited and from there it, it kept growing. I mean, they have a love for it. Oh, Ms. Jordan, that's certainly what we like to hear as we encourage the youth to be involved in agriculture as well as healthy eating and healthy living. So from here it's off to the next school, which will be a winner in the school's garden competition. Hi, my name is Marcia Burke. I am a teacher here at the St. Jude's Primary School. I'm here with the members of our 4-H club. We entered in the open field category, which we won. It's a lot of hard work, but here at St. Jude's, we believe that it's not luck, 
it's hard work and creativity and that just shows that our cre creativity was the key and winning factor that brought us here today. Hi, my name is Auntie Singh and I am the garden leader. My role in the garden is to water the plants and make sure the children do what they have to do. I learned that there are different kinds of pests and things that come in the garden. We get fertilizer and then we left it to dry. Then we spread it out on the bed and turn over the soil. We believe that for 4-H, we're in a 4-H club, that we should try to keep everything organic. So we use animal fertilizer. We have some rabbits here at the school, so we use the rabbit dung. Some of the things that I did was to help rake up the leaves and put them in the compost. I'm very happy with myself for helping doing all of this. I learned that agriculture is more than just planting and reaping crops. I learned that it's not all about putting seeds in the ground, it's just a amount of hard work that people have to do in planting. It was a nice experience for us all and it's a really good feeling that we came out on top. Now, leaving St. Jude's, we continued to the Golden St. George Secondary School and there the students and the teachers had plenty to be proud about. We were fortunate to win in all three categories. As you can see here, we started with a landscape that was just full of grass. It involved a lot of work, but the students worked very diligently in clearing the area and getting it re actually ready for cultivation. My role was helping my teacher remove the grass and everything from the land so they can farm out the bed properly. I was assigned for outdoor gardening. I helped prepare the garden, clear ready land. Me and my team also helped. Soil was hard, had enough rock stones in the ground. Our soil is not the best here. So we had a lot of problems turning it into the best bed ever, but it worked out. Most of the plowing of the land was actually done by fork. So you can imagine the amount of work that was involved. But the students, they, they just rose to the challenge. In addition, we also had the, the indoor garden, which involves us using the greenhouse. Here in our greenhouse is 100 feet by 20 feet. And we grew tomatoes as well as basil, as well as lettuce. And finally, there was the container garden. I'll uh, let Mr. Oliver explain a whole lot more about that one. The container category we looked at vertical garden, gardening. So vertical gardening involves the, the use of recyclable materials such as PVC. So we used some old PVC we had lying around at the school. The PVC was used to, to grow a variety of crops. So we had some leafy vegetables which we planted. We mix the pot and mix with the soil, put it in the pipe. I was able to see the growth of the students from day one until the completion of the project. So some students came in a bit apprehensive as it related to taking part in the actual activities, but them seeing the actual results and progress along the way, it showed me that these students are very capable. I get out of this project that it can save you more money than important things. You plant your own stuff, you don't really have to look far to buy in it. You get free gate for yourself. And you don't have to go in town or anything to look for it. It was hard going into this competition because it wasn't easy. Coming out here and trying to chop away CSC works is not the easiest thing ever. But we pushed through it and it was hard work but we successfully came first in all three categories, which I'm very happy of. Congratulations to all the winners in the 2016-2017 competition. This week we looked at growing well and next week, even more excitement. These students will turn up the heat in the recipe competition, which is the eat well component. So we look forward to seeing you then on Gel and Agriculture. Grow well, eat well, live well, right here in the Grow well.